Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Gell and thank you for watching. If you don't know by this title, we're doing a try on of my Ipsy May box, or my May Ipsy box, because I am trying to catch back up on filming for you guys. Instead of doing like a traditional unboxing try on for Ipsy, I'm changing it up and I'm gonna be trying on the products with you guys, but I'm also gonna be telling you about my plans for my birthday and like where I've been and things like that, which I've touched on in my previous video. I don't know, I just wanna jump in and tell you kind of like what I've been doing to keep myself busy with these changes that are happening. Without further ado, if you like try on get ready with me's, then continue watching. But first, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. Do all that fun stuff down below. And also follow me on other socials. I'm really trying to push my TikTok and my Instagram right now. And last but not least, if you don't know, I am going to be doing a giveaway for 100 followers. That's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but for me, that is my first big milestone. So I will keep pushing that until we hit at least 100 and then follow up on what the giveaway entails. So now let's go ahead, jump into the video. I'm excited to just chit chat and talk about what has been going on, what I'm planning to do for my birthday, because I'm actually filming on my birthday, um, and just kind of get back into my routine. So the only things that are on my face so far is a little bit of brow gel. This one's from L'Oreal. It's their Infallible Brows Up to 24 Hour Wear Voluminizing Mascara. I really like it. I try not to buy things that aren't cruelty free. And then on my lips is a little bit of Tower 28 Gloss and Chill. I don't really like those glosses. I know a lot of people rave about them, but I don't. Anyways, the first thing that I'm gonna be trying out that's from the box is this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. It says apply on clean, moisturized skin. Use alone for a natural bounce of light on the skin or under makeup to prep your skin for a flawless application. Super excited about this one. I haven't tried a lot from Dr. Brandt. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. So it looks like that. Okay, it blurs away to nothing. I have really been into these like moisturizing primers pore filling situations, whatever you want to call this. So I'm excited. I'm going to do it on two fingers and see what it does. I've been using one from Tula and it's not been my favorite. Also, I'm going to be careful because I did get a nose piercing and my third holes are pierced because I did go and get those done as well. Except this one I've always had. This one closed up from years ago. So for my birthday, I was like, I can afford getting a couple piercings versus actually pulling for an entire tattoo because I really want a tattoo but instead I got piercings and I am looking so radiant and then obviously up here I haven't put anything yet minus my face oils but this looks really pretty I'm gonna do another little squirt oh, that sounds gross I'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it up here. Um, this is too much product. So I'm gonna put this on my hand and then I'm only gonna focus a tiny bit of this up here. And I will say for this to be a primer that the first ingredient's water, it doesn't spread as much as water does. Like I'm really going in and working it into my skin, which is interesting. Okay, and you all can clock me. I completely forgot to put my sunscreen on. So wham bam for me. Future me will hate myself. <laughs> I like the thickness of this one and its consistency. So this might be a go-to for me as of late just because I have really been loving like a moisturizing pore filling primer. Even though we are getting into a little bit of heat, I'm gonna be a daredevil. And I've said this before, I always get into trends last minute and sure enough, like 2018, 2016 makeup's coming back and that's when I choose to get into like my clean girl era or like my neutral girl era. Okay, I do have concealer I wanna try. This is from LYS. <laughs> this is from LYS. It's their Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I have again wanted to try this for quite a while but never got around to. And I'm really into those a little bit more lightweight concealers. So I'm going to try using this to set my lid. Um, I do know this is a more of like a serum consistency, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Whether highlighting your favorite features or concealing pesky blemishes, this full coverage breathable formula it certainly brings balance to the complexion for a natural seamless look that wows. A lot of good claims in here. I do have the shade LN3, I believe. 
Yeah, so we'll see. It might be a little too yellow. Yeah, that might be a little too yellow. But for my lid, it should be okay. We're gonna try it on the lid. Let's all put a little bit down. I don't know how much I could need for this, but we're gonna go for it. Let me grab my dirty sponge because I did not clean my sponges, but it's fun. Oh yeah, you can really still see my eyelid through this. There is no coverage to this right now. Which, I'm not mad about it for my eyelid. I do like to blank out my eyes. Obviously because it helps with the lid shades, but my eyes, I've got some blue veinage that shows through. I think that's just part of being fair skinned. So I do like a little bit extra coverage up there. I love my Natasha Denona um, Hyper High Glam. High Glam Concealer. So this is not that. That one's definitely full coverage. This is not. But we're going to keep it moving. I'm going to give it its chance. Okay, I'm going to set my lids with this palette. This is the Ciate London I Am A Woman What's My Superpower Volume 2. I just want to say when I first opened this, I was like, this looks like it's for a 14 year old. It's really cute. And I've had Ciate London palettes in the past and they've been good. They've been not what I really want, but ultimately I always declutter them. So there's a part of me that was contemplating not using this. However, there is something about this palette that just I'm like into. This is what the palette looks like and there's something about like a couple of these shimmers in here that I do want to try. Um, I am going to be wearing like an eggplant shaded shade of dress. So I don't know if there's like really eggplant in here. These two shades are calling to me. So before I do go in with this palette, I do want to swatch it. Ooh, that's really cool. And then that was the shade Powerful. And then I did swatch this. This is Future is Female. And that's what that one looks like. So those are really, really pretty. Um, But does it make me want to try the whole palette? Not really. I think I figured it out. So I really wanted to play with these two shades because it's literally the color of the palette. However, it is my birthday dinner, so I might not be smart. So I think what I'm gonna do is play around with like a little bit more of the cool tones in here because I really wanna use this shade, maybe both of these shades, honestly. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And I do still need to set my lid, which there is a shade in here. I'm gonna try this shade to set my lid and see what happens. And I'm gonna take the shade, this called Independent Woman right here, and I'm going to set my lid with that, which I don't expect, you know, I don't expect this to be revolutionary. It's just me setting my lid. I don't know if you caught that my lid literally stuck together for a second there. I will say these shades are doing really great at blanking out my canvas, even though the concealer was a lot more lightweight. We're ready. I'm going to go in with the shade. I'm gonna do one of a kind and then maybe use this one to blend a little bit more of it out. So I'm gonna do one, two, three tap. Not really any fallout. I'm just gonna go in and do a classic smoky eye for me. Wow, there's some pigment there. Okay, doesn't look too bad so far. My only concern with this palette is patchiness because I feel like that does tend to happen with Ciate London palettes for me. Or I have to do this where I'm like, building it up because for some reason the shades don't want to build on themselves which does not make sense to me so let me just go in about five times i almost dipped into that really bright purple <laughs> and i don't care if this is sloppy or not i will go in and clean it back up but you see what i mean like i've gone in like three or four times and it's still not building like this is why i'm like ciate london palettes especially something with this packaging would be so good for a little girl or like your teenager who's just getting into makeup because you can't get any payoff i'm loving it okay i'm gonna go in with this shade here which is confident which is just a really, really light taupe. And I'm gonna take this to my brow bone and do my standard blending of shadow for you all. Okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm not giving, I'm not charading this around. No, I'm not gonna give up. And I'm gonna go in with this shade here. You can hear my dogs working. You see what I mean? Like, this is what kills me. This pigmentation, where is it on my eyelid? It's not there. And this is why I get rid of these palettes. I wanted to try it out for you guys just because I knew that a couple of these shades in here would go with my dress tonight because it is like an eggplant plummy color. If this isn't going to work, I do have a couple shades up my belt that are new to me 
that I can make it work. So this is where we're at right now. I'm gonna try and go back in. Maybe I'll mix in a little bit of something else. There's this sugar here called Power Hungry. Might do a little bit of that too. It's gonna warm it up a little bit, but honestly, see, look at that. There's nothing happening unless I really go in. When I go back into the lightest shade that I've been using and buffing around, I'm gonna take some of the lid setting shade that I used. Now I look like I have a bruised eyelid. Okay, we're not doing this palette. This. This isn't happening. I'm changing game and I'm gonna go in with this. Just for the heck of it though, I am gonna try this shade on my lid but I am gonna remove it and start again because that is pretty but it doesn't even show up. Yeah, that's not as pretty as what it could be. I'm gonna mix this, change gears, but let me go get this off and then I'll be right back. Okay, this was a no-go, but I did set my lid with this shade again because I used the LYS concealer. Um, we're going to pivot and try out this one from Pat McGrath. This is the Divine Rose Luxe Quad in Internal, Light, Internal Eden. Okay, but we're going to try this out, and I mean, there are some bit of cooler tones in here, so maybe I'll just stick with that and then pull from somewhere else. So, like I said, I'm gonna take this mauve shade, which I don't have, I don't think I'm gonna have, why is it patchy? What's going on? Let me just get a different brush. Okay, that did kind of smooth out a little bit. I was gonna freak out, guys. I feel like this is patchy. I'm gonna try the other eye. Because I know Pat McGrath's shadows, when they're good, they're good, and when they're bad, they're bad. So let me just, play this out and see what I can get accomplished and go from there because I don't want to pivot into an entirely different palette but if I have to I think I'm just going to do it off camera. Mm. Do you see that? That looks so bad. This could just not agree with the concealer. Okay I want to take the same mauve shade and use it on the outer V. I don't know sometimes the shadows are good at building on themselves and turning a little bit deeper. The way that this is going, I don't know. You know what, I'm gonna change tunes and go in and just cover my lid in this shade and then cover that <laughs> with shimmery shades because this is just not working out for me. I truly look like I have a black eye on this side. I'm gonna go in and take that cream shade that I've been using from the Ciate London palette and just Try to save this. It's a lot of freaking color just stuck back here. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. So I do want to try this shade out. This is the, well, it's that shade. I don't know if it's really gonna do anything. You know what? No, it's not. You know what we're doing? I'm again pivoting. I have a couple shades from Half Magic. They finally were back in stock and I wanted to try these out. And I've got Blushing Lizard here, which is the one that everyone's raving about on TikTok. So this is the one that I really want to try and play around with. Fun fact, this is completely biodegradable packaging, so, or compostable, my bad. So really cool. This shade, I don't know if you're going to be able to see all of the sparkles in it. But when it shines this way, it's a beautiful lilac. And then obviously there's a little bit of that like blue undertone. And then you can kind of see it there. It's very similar to that Ciate London shade I first swatched. But I think this is going to give way more payoff. <laughs> and I think what I want to do is just run this all over. And it's not going to go with my dress tonight. But then again, it will because I'm wearing a denim jacket. And I'm just gonna do this all over my lid and run with it. So I'm also going to do this on the other eye. And I love a good like duochrome moment. So this is that expectation, but there's just a little bit more to it almost because of that sparkle in it. Like it has that blue sheen that you're probably seeing on camera, but I feel like you can also just see like a shimmer flip in there and it's, or like a glittery flip in there and it is magnificent. So we're gonna roll with that, but these, this was a disaster. So we're gonna move on to the rest of my face and just keep the morale up. <laughs> Hi, it's me a few seconds later. 
Um, this is the Turn Up The Base BBB Cream, the Beauty Blur Balm Cream from One Size. I have the shade 2 Rose, 2R, fair with rosy undertone. Um, I'm a little more yellow undertones, but this is probably the closest shade I'm gonna get. Oh my god, okay. It's like a little clicky thing, hold on. See that? ASMR. I'm thinking the... T oh, is there like a little thing on the thingy on it? Hold on. For the love of God. what? What? Huh? That's weird. It's not in the center. Goodness. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, oh, it's like really runny. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna need to shake it up. But this is the shade. Now I am afraid it could oxidize. You kind of see it's a little bit yellow. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second. <laughs> I'm just being extra careful because if I need to start over, I don't want to have to start my whole entire face over, which is why I'm like hesitant because we've already spent so much time. Maybe I'll just massage it around in here because that definitely was a little separated. It's pretty thick now. Oh my God. So one annoying thing already is when you click it, it gets so messy and I have to use my thumb to get the excess off. So there are definitely cleaner variations of tinted moisturizer that you could do. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to scoop this off. Massage it around a little bit. This could very well be too yellow for me. I'm going to give her a chance. I'm going to do one little spot. I don't know. This might not work. I'm definitely getting some weird texture through here, but I'm going to continue going with it. Oh, okay. We're going to go for it. I'm going to try it on this side. A lot of people were saying this was full coverage and I am not getting full coverage with it, which I didn't think I would because it's a BB cream. But I swear when this first launched with people, people were like, oh my God, it's the most full coverage BB cream. Okay, I'm going to go in with more. Definitely has like a whip consistency. So that's interesting. I'm going to try it on my nose. I'm going to be careful with my nose piercing, which I did get this done a week ago so I shouldn't be putting makeup on it but I was putting makeup on it two days later I just clean it really really like as soon as I get my makeup off I clean it like three or four times after the fact but the reason I decided to get them done one because I'm t I'm 25 having like a quarter life crisis right now but there's been a lot that's happened and if you're you know someone that I'm like really close to you know the full story of like what's going on and it's nothing too bad it's just an unfortunate situation where where I am the caretaker of my house for a year because my husband has to be gone and I'm very trying to be very discreet of it because you know he's military and obviously it's not like he's deployed or anything like that it's just I don't I don't know. I feel weird putting his business out there. I'm now taking care of all four of our animals. You know, we don't have kids. So, like, I'm thankful that if he's, you know, gone, it's without children. Because I don't think I could handle doing this by myself without him. I'm happy the first time he leaves is, you know, you know, we don't have children. Maybe this primer wasn't the move with it. Because I want you guys to see. I feel like you can see pores through here. Like, it's just sitting in my pores. It's not really, like, blending in. Especially over here. It's doing some weird shit. I'm not the biggest fan of it so far. It could very well be the primer. However, right now how I'm feeling is I would keep this. Don't know about this yet. Because it's also now all up under my nails and stuff. So we're going to keep it moving. So the next thing I do have, this is one of, that was picked for me. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Contour and Highlight. This is like a contouring shade. I do like this packaging. I feel like it's very like m something I would want like my mom to have. Or like if I had children, I'd feel like they want to like grab this out of my makeup kit. Because it's like just... I don't know, it's like a classic elevated look, right? And that's one thing I do like about Anastasia. Not recently, but like I feel like they're kind of getting back to it. But this thick 2016 filling right here. That, I don't know if that's going to be contour or bronzer. I'm going to put it on the back of my hands because it's definitely giving cool toned. I'm going to go in with it lightly because when I blend it out, it's definitely more of a bronzier tone. Let me just try it out as bronzer first. This is really thick. I don't know. <laughs> definitely. So it's so weird because it definitely has a gray undertone, but when I blur it out, it's yellow. Like you see what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm going to put it a little bit lower 
than I typically do because I think it's kind of more of a contour shade. And I think I probably just screwed over my skin. I don't know. It's really weird. I don't know. This is not giving contour. That's wild. It's like an in-between. I just feel like you can see so much texture on my skin. Maybe not on my camera, but I don't like the way this is looking. Period. Point blank. Period. I'm gonna keep rolling with it. I do also have this, um, but this is from Lawless. This is their Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss in Violet Bloom. It's a little bit cool toned. It's a really cool color. Um, obviously I don't think that's gonna show up on me, but I have been liking a little bit of plumping stuff while I'm waiting to see what's going on with the- Do you see that shape? Oh, that's weird. Ew. Okay. Ew. 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 Ew, it's stringy. Then I here I just said, I don't think it's gonna show this pigment. I thought it was gonna be a lot clearer. This is weird. Yeah, it's like a milky pink. What is this video? Now I'm gonna try this concealer, which this is a little bit more yellow, so maybe that's gonna help offset the, the rosiness of this that I'm seeing. You see that? Look how yellow that is. I'm gonna do two little swipes. I know this is not as full coverage as my high glam, so I might go back in with more. I don't know yet. But the way I do my eyes, is I go in with a brush first because you can get a little bit closer to the lit, the lash line. A brush gives a little bit more full coverage wherever you put it. I will say this doesn't look too bad underneath my eye. And I'm just going to repeat this eye. If you're ever afraid to do your eye makeup underneath, look up. I can't get over this freaking bubblegum pink. Ugh. I think this is looking okay. Now I'm going to go in and set and I'm terrified to set my face with this. So now, I'm gonna go in and set my face, and I'm gonna use my Lunaversal setting powder, which I actually got in another Ipsy, I think the previous Ipsy. So I'm gonna use this and the little sponge that it comes with, and I know my shit's dirty. That's how you know I use it, right? Like, okay, just a note, this has moved underneath my eye a little bit, which I don't mind. It's not the end of the world for me, but I do wanna point that out. Also, this powder smells like a cupcake. And it's magnificent. I'm definitely a different color than what my actual skin tone is. Anyways, we're gonna jump in and do my lower lash line, but I'm gonna push this color in, tight line with it almost, and then I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush and bring it down so the blend down here matches up there because it's a little top heavy. With that, I'm gonna take that same shade, smaller brush, and then just go in and blend too. It's still giving bruised. Okay, for my inner corner, I do want to try this shade out. So I'm going to take this little brush I've had for years and try to put down some shadow. And then I might put something on top of it. Maybe I'll use this pink. It's not enough. I still need something else on top of that. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Fenty highlighter. This is the newest release from them. And it's the Pretty Pearls Demi Glow Highlight. Not the newest release because it just released a foundation. But it's one of their newer releases. The only thing I don't like about this is the packaging. Because of the way that it slopes inward, I always wind up digging my freaking finger into it and I just got this. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Like right through here, she's been beat. But this is really pretty as an inner corner highlight. And I think on top of that pink and purple, it's going to set really well. At least that's what I'm telling myself to get through this. So with that, I think I'm going to finish off what I can and then I will come back and do the lips with you guys. And I think after that, we're going to wrap up the video. So let me go do that real quick. Okay, so I am back. And now that I have my brows on and I kind of went in and deepened up underneath and put my cheek products on and everything, I feel a little bit better about this. Still not my favorite look I've ever done, but it's gonna work for a dinner tonight, you know? Granted, it's my birthday dinner and I wish it was a little bit better looking, but whatever. Um, I'm literally going with my friends and I don't care what other people are thinking, right? And I still feel like this is really pretty. So, for my lips, I am gonna try this. This is the Half Caked the script primer and lip liner. So it's a two in one situation. And I like Half Caked. I need to break it open so I can get the product. I like Half Caked. It's a good brand. It's a, you know, inexpensive brand. I just don't go out of my way to buy from them. When I see them in Ipsy, I do like them. I have a couple other glosses that I really like. I have this that I'm really interested in trying. I have a few, I've tried a few of the cream products from the brand. So we're gonna give this a whack. So this is the primer side. Nothing to it. Just gonna prime my lip. And it's not 
super waxy or anything. I am interested to see how well product sticks on it. It actually has almost like a balm consistency to it. So now we're gonna try this side. This might be too pink for me today. That's weird. For it to be a primer, it's not sticking. Weird, okay. I mean, it's not going anywhere. But if I put it over here, it would smear. Probably not the best lip color for this, but it's okay because I think what I'm gonna do to hide my mistakes is I'm gonna take a little bit of this one in here. This wanted to be this, right? But I wanna see what that does on my lip. Ooh, that's pretty actually. And then obviously, it'll fade a little bit over time, so I'm not too worried about it being too much. When I was probably 18, 19, I used to do shimmers on my lips all the time. And I feel like I'm getting back to that. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, I appreciate you hanging out with me. And let's just jump into final thoughts on everything because this went south very fast. So let's break it down. Not it. Um, I'm sure if I like really wanted to play around with it, I could and get some pretty looks out of it. It's not something that I need. However, this shade I do really like. I do like that it is a little bit more muted than this. There's not as much um, like blue sparkly reflect in this. They're really hard pressed, so I don't really like them for that, but it did add a cool effect onto the lip. So there's that. Um, probably, probably won't be keeping a hold of it, but it was fun to at least get this effect from it. And then the Pat McGrath palette, this one's okay. <sighs> Her palettes, they can either be good and they can be bad. This shade, I don't know if it was maybe the concealer or the fact that I had to, you know, go in and redo my eyes. So I definitely want to give this another chance because it is so simple and pretty. And then for my base products, this Dr. Brandt uh, Luminizing Primer, I definitely want to try out some more. This is really, like, it's up my alley nowadays because this is what I'm shooting for. So you'll probably see this again. This uh, BB cream from One Size, the Turn Up the Base BB cream. I don't know about this. Um, I will say now that I've added some more stuff to my face, it's not as noticeable, but I do think this is a little too rosy for me. I'm a little bit more neutral. The concealer, I thought I wasn't going to like it, but I do. I like that it's a little bit lighter coverage. I think this is going to be beautiful for this time of year. So again, you'll probably see this one. The shade, I probably could have gone with something a little bit less yellow. But now that I've tried it out, I think I remember these pulling more yellow. I think that was one of the biggest critiques with that launch. The last couple of things, the Lawless Forget the Filler Line Smoothing Gloss Plump line lip plumping line smoothing gloss i like this it's not too stingy i just don't like this color so i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but as far as it plumping it did feel like it was doing something but it wasn't too crazy and then the the lip script no this that's not what's called the script half case primer and lip liner you guys just saw me put it on. Um, it's it's not really moving, I will say that. So it is a matte lip, but I do like that. The lip liner side of it is also big enough to fill in the lips if you have baby white person lips like I do. And then last but not least, this wasn't part of the Ipsy, but this Blushing Lizard shade from Half Magic is really, really pretty. This was $12. Probably not my best investment, but I feel like I will use it quite a bit because it is a really pretty like glittery reflect. So there we have it. So I just want to say that I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you stuck it through the end, you're the best for it. Um, this went south, like I said, very, very quickly. I'm super excited that you get to hang out with me. Obviously, this is going up after my birthday, but... I'm excited that we get to hang out together filming this on my birthday. So thank you. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and follow. As I said previously before we got started. Because I want to get to doing that giveaway. I'm super excited. It's obviously going to be within the U.S. Because I'm not shipping overseas. Also keep that in mind. Um, and then I think that's about it for me. I'm going to hop off. Finish getting ready per usual, and then I will talk to you all in another one. So I hope you have a great day, night, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you then. So bye.